Hello, and welcome to the Public Library of Brookline's Idea Space. My name is Christy, and I'm a reference and technology librarian here at the Brookline Village Library. And I'm here today to show you how to set up and use the library's M3D Micro Plus 3D printers. Let's get started. To follow along, you'll need a 3D printer from the library, a laptop or desktop computer, an internet connection, and an STL file to 3D print. You can design your own print for free at tinkercad.com or find free designs to download from websites like thingiverse.com. Start by downloading and installing M3D's free printing software on your computer from brklib.com slash M3D install. Meanwhile, unpack the library's 3D printer. You'll find inside an M3D Micro Plus 3D printer, a power cable, a USB cable, a filament hook, about 21 feet or 252 inches of 1.75 millimeter PLA filament, and a packing cheat sheet to help keep track of all the pieces. When the software has finished installing, open it up, then plug in the 3D printer and attach it to your computer using the USB cable. We're going to start by removing any leftover filament from the previous borrower and loading your fresh roll of PLA. At the top left corner of your screen, select 3D ink, then choose remove filament from the pop-up box. Now the 3D printer will take some time to heat up. The nozzle in this machine reaches temperatures of over 200 degrees Fahrenheit, so be sure to keep your hands clear of the 3D printer whenever it's turned on. The software will tell the printer to extrude a bit of the filament, then let you know when it's time to pull the rest of the old filament out. Pull firmly on the old filament, but don't yank it out. The feeder will automatically reverse as you pull. Once the old filament is removed, you can answer yes when the software asks if it's been released. If it's still stuck, just select no to try again. Now it's time to load the new filament. In the same menu, select insert filament. Now type in the cheat code PLA and select next. Choose the color of your filament so the software can preview your print, then select next again. Now select micro spool, then tell the software that the filament is not a new spool and that we're going to insert the filament using the external loading. The 3D printer will take some time to heat up again now. When the software tells you it's okay, you can feed one end of your filament into the small hole at the top of the nozzle head, like this. Put a bit of pressure on the filament until you feel the feeder catch. The software will stop every few seconds to check to see if the new filament has begun coming out of the nozzle. We usually have to say no at least once to this question. Once some filament does come out, select yes to finish the loading process, then close the menu. You can swipe away the extra melted filament with a pencil or some scrap filament. Just be sure to keep your fingers away from the heated nozzle. Now it's time to load your STL file. Choose Open Model from the top left corner of the screen and open the STL you created or downloaded. Now you can preview your print. There are also controls for moving, resizing, duplicating, and rotating your print in the left side menu. If your print doesn't fit within the machine's printing area, the model will show that in red. When you're happy with your preview, select the print button at the bottom of the screen to choose your settings. Print quality determines the thickness of the layers of plastic in your print. Thin layers produce a smoother, higher quality print, but they take much longer. We're choosing to print our model as quickly as possible for this tutorial, but if you don't mind waiting, you might want to choose a higher quality setting. Next, you'll choose your fill density, also known as infill. To save time and plastic, most 3D prints are not solid objects, but instead a solid shell filled with some form of grid pattern in the center. For most projects, low or medium density infill is fine. If your object has a small base or overhanging parts with angles greater than 45 degrees, you can also choose from a variety of support options in this menu. Supports generate scrap plastic scaffolding of various forms that help your model keep its shape as it prints, but they also consume filament and time and must be cut away from your final project after you finish printing. If you're a 3D printing expert, you can also use the advanced settings menu in the top right corner of this screen to fine tune the printer settings. When you're happy with your choices, select print. A pop-up window will let you know the estimated time your design will take to print and the amount of filament in inches that it will use. The rolls of filament we provide with our kits are approximately 21 feet or 252 inches long. If everything looks good, you can let the timer run out or select start now. The printer will take several minutes to check that the print surface is level before it begins to heat and print. Take this time to ensure that the filament is tangle free and will pull easily into the printer. You can use the filament hook to help direct the feed. When the printer does begin working, be sure to keep a careful eye on the first few layers of your print to make sure they stick to the print bed. 
If you have problems with adhesion, we recommend covering the print surface with a layer of blue painter's tape. Just Google 3D printing blue painter's tape for instructions and be sure to remove any tape before returning the printer to the library. Now it's time for the fun part. Just watch the 3D printer do its thing. Remember, the printer gets hot, so be sure to keep an eye on it while it works. If you notice any major errors in the print, you can cancel the print and try tweaking the settings before starting again. 3D printing can be a bit finicky at first, so we recommend starting with a small, simple project that leaves you plenty of leftover filament in case it takes a few tries. When your print finishes, just put some gentle pressure on it to loosen it from the print bed and you're ready to go. If you'd like to check out all the tools and machines in our Ideaspace collection, you can find them at brklib.com ideaspace. Thanks for following along and happy making. Bye bye.